In this video, I will give you a brief overview of the three other substrands of science, which is physical, life, and earth science. I'll be making separate videos for physical, life, and earth science. Uh, what I also wanted to do, though, in this video was just to give a few examples of physical science. The first substrand that I wanted to talk about is physical science. Physical science focuses on non living objects and materials, the properties and characteristics of them, and also changes in them. For example, different types of non-living objects include substance, or different types of liquids, fabrics, uh, materials such as plastic or metal, um, different types of papers, or um, just different um, objects that are made from those materials. One activity that you could give to children that's really fun and falls under physical science is playing with blocks. So with blocks, you can ask the child to build you a tall tower. How tall can you make this tower and not have it fall? Or maybe they could make a ramp for cars. So here's an example I made with a pile of blocks that you just saw. Just a simple little ramp and children can work together or work by themselves to figure out how to make a ramp that maybe they could fit a little Hot Wheel or a toy car on. Here's a better example. This is from the same preschool that I went to that had an outdoor classroom and they had a table and they had these ramps that the children made and they have a, looks like a basket full of different vehicles and even an airplane. So they could make an airplane runway with this. But this is something the children can figure out and this is part of physical science. Another great activity that falls under physical science is cooking, because this is about mixing substances and liquids and ingredients together. So have the child cook with you, mix things together, have the child um, put things in the blender or put things in the bowl and ask them, what do you think will happen if we put these ingredients together? Here's an example I did that can be part of cooking. I put some celery juice in a glass and you can ask the child, what color do you think this will turn when I add carrot juice? And they'll tell you and then they'll, then they'll see what happens that it does turn orange. Then you can ask them, what do you think it will taste like? And then have them taste it. By the way, this is really good for you. Great immune system boosting drink. And since I am making this video during the quarantine with the coronavirus, I thought I would share with you how to make your own hand sanitizer since it does fit in, into the physical science since we're mixing substances together. You will need isopropyl alcohol, at least 90%, and then also aloe vera gel. The ratio is two thirds alcohol and one third aloe vera. So you could do two thirds cup of alcohol and then one third cup of aloe vera gel mix it together and then I have a um, included in my photo is um, a little bottle of essential oil to give it a more pleasant fragrance and you can choose any um, essential oil that you want and if for if whatever you like as lavender is supposed to have a calming effect so that's just my picture and example the second substrand that I'm talking about in this video is life sciences. And so life sciences is all about living objects and materials, the properties and characteristics of them, and also changes in the living objects and materials, such as animals, plants, fish, insects. So everything that is living. The last substrand of science is earth science, and examples of topics that fall under this substrand is earth materials such as soil, rocks, and sand. Um, children can learn about the different seasons, um, different weather, and also how to take care of our planet through, um, say, recycling. So hopefully this video gave you a good overview of the three substrands of physical science, life science, and earth sciences. I will be creating three different videos about these three substrands to go into detail a little bit more. So be on the lookout for that. They will be coming soon.